Hello and welcome to VFX Tutored and Fusion 9. We offer three levels of tutorials to help you with your Fusion 9 learning experience. Starter, Regular and Plus. This is the starter level for those of you who are looking for an easy and fast introduction into Fusion 9. Knowing how to photoscope is an essential technique that any compositor should know and no matter what kind of software you use, if you know how to photoscope, then you'll have a much better chance of getting your comps looking better than any other artist out there. In this lesson, you will explore the polygon mask tool for the first time. You will use it to cut the candle out, of, uh, out from its background. You will also see how to work with the resize node in Fusion Studio 9. You will work with the color curves and merge and the merge node for the first time. Now, don't forget that this is just a quick preview and if you want to start your learning experience, click on the VFX Tutored link under this video and jump into the actual course. So, the easiest way to combine two elements together, or more than two elements, is using the merge node. But before we use the merge node, there's a couple of more nodes I would like to attach to the candle pillar and to the image before we move forward. So, remember to bring up the uh, tool selection window is pillar. Okay, now we can change the size of this image when its original size is 2272 on 1520. So I want to take a look and see how it was changed automatically here to the width and height of 1920 by 1080 and these are defaults so I'm going to click on the uh, left view here and you can see that now the image is 1920 by 1080 and the size of the pillar is going to be changed a bit differently but it's going to be changed after I'll connect the two so in order to connect two things or more we have the merge node so shift spacebar and now if we type merge there is our merge node so before we connect these two with the merge I'm gonna take another node for color correction between the pillar and the size changer so I'm going to highlight this one shift and the height is going to change as well because of the check mark on keep frame aspect and I can continue to change the width and height until I'm happy with the size of the candle pillar. Now we notice that the candle pillar has a little bit of issues because of the masks. So if I go back to the polygon, you notice that under its controls, it has the certain filter of box or the Gaussian or multi box. And I also have soft edges. So let's add a bit of a soft edge, but... Okay, so that was your sneak peek of lesson two in the starter course, in the starter level. So you can now click on uh, the video three tab and start to learn how to transform the uh, color correction nodes or click below on the VFX Tutored link to begin your starter course right now. You can also have a look at the regular and the plus levels that go into a lot more advanced detail. We've made each course an affordable price point and also bundled them together to lower the price point even more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the little uh, bell button to get instant notifications when we upload a new series of tutorials for you. Thank you and goodbye.